So today we're going to be doing a hair by Chrissy inspired uh, boho braided half up half down do. So we're going to be leaving the back down, you know, lovely and textured and wavy. And then we're going to be doing a lovely Dutch braid coming around to the back, so like a crown. So all the hair wefts, you know, underneath the hair are placed on a curve. This just, you know, sits better to the shape of the head. Um, if they're straight, they're going to stick out. What I'm going to do just to blend the top section, because we want to keep the line to be really lovely and blunt, just to show how lovely and thick that 26 inch weft is. So with the top weft, all I'm going to do, a little bit of layering, because when you've got such long hair to tong, you know, it, is, it will drop quite quickly. Um, so we just want to take a little bit of that weight out just to allow that curl to, to stay and also just to blend and just give you that lovely, you know, boho feel again. So all I'm doing is I'm just lifting up that hair weft. That's Karina's hair there. And you'll be able to see where the lace is that it's safe to cut. So we don't want to take any of Karina's real hair. We don't want to cut any of that. So I'm just going to find where that hair weft ends and just slice with your cutting scissors. Just literally take out some of that weight. If you like elevate the hair on an angle, that'll give it more of a layer. So as you can see, as I'm running the scissors through, you've got some lovely shorter pieces, you know, some lovely layers, which will really add to the style. If you're cutting and the clip comes loose, just go back in and just secure the ends. Once I've curled the hair, I'll just make sure that there are no kind of like heavier areas. Like I say, we do want the ends to be really lovely and thick just to show off that, you know, how lovely and thick that 26 inch weft is. So I'm gonna take down the rest of the hair. Before we go into the braids, what I'm going to do is just literally go through and, and tong the hair again. Okay, so just adding that texture, using that flat iron, just gliding it through the hair. We just want a lovely, soft kind of wave. And I've alternated the curls, so what I'll do is I will twist one way and then I'll twist another way. If you do it in the same direction, it's going to look a little bit too set. So because there's a lot of hair here, we're going to do more of like an undone look. So what I've done is I've just gone through and just created a little bit of texture just with the flat iron, used a little bit of texture powder, but because there is such a lot of hair, you know, it will drop. Check in the bottom, bottom of the hair, just to make sure it's all even. Just breaking up that baseline here. See how lovely and thick that is with the hair weft. So I'm going to start the left side first, just to show you how it's done. And then it's, I'm going to repeat that on the right side. So we're going to do a middle parting just to give it that really 70s boho feel today. So we're going to leave some pieces out again, okay, just to give it a lovely kind of soft finish. I'm just going to take a front section, okay, just from the parting, just a behind the ear. Then I'm going to take some of the weft in to the section just to braid and connect Karina's hair to the hair weft. Pin the sections out of the way just so I don't get all caught up in all the hair. So as I braided, I just found that there, was, there wasn't enough hair here, it was a bit too fine. So what I've done is I've just replaced the weft, so I've just brought it up a little bit higher just to add a little bit more of the, um, of the weft. I'm going to start braiding it all together now. So making sure my 
hands are really close to the head. Just connecting all of this hair. Sometimes I'll do a braid and you know I won't like it, so I'll take it out and start again. Um, if I'm not liking something, I'd rather change it very quickly than, you know, doing the whole style and then having to take it out. It just saves time. All I've done is I've braided to the middle section because the right side is going to be braided and they're going to join right in the middle. connect the end of the braid for now. So I'm using a black elastic because Karina's hair is, is dark. Um, I wouldn't want to use like a clear one or a white one because it will stand out too much. So now the braid is all banded at the ends. I'm just going to go through and just pinch that out just to make it a bit more boho. So now I have completed both sides, I'm going to connect, connect both of the braids just with a black band which is a little bit thicker than an elastic. Uh, I don't think the, the elastics will hold it, uh, they might snap just because of the volume of the hair. Just before I secure it I'm just going to make sure there's no hair underneath that's going to get caught whilst I'm banding the hair together. going to take a little bit of hair and just wrap it around the the band just to give it a really lovely boho finish and you can spray it as well as you're wrapping just keep wrapping that hair around and then we're going to secure it I'm just going to secure it underneath pinning it into the braids because that will give you a little bit more secure security start to pull the braid out again you can use a little bit of spray just to really bring out that shine what i don't want it to do is look too messy with blonde hair you can really get away with making it textured uh, darker hair you know we can't we want to keep that lovely shiny condition so as i'm as i'm pulling it out i'm just going to use a little bit of spray just to really keep that shine and that condition in the hair. So I'm just going through and just pinching out the hair, just bringing that lovely texture out. Because there's so much hair there, you can really afford to, you know, bring that out. Finishing and final touches, what I like to do is wear you know, some hairlines look really fine, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna make that look really thick, um, just to kind of blend all this lovely density in. So I'm gonna use a color wow powder, okay? So it's like a, basically like an eyeshadow, but made for hair. So I'm gonna use a dark, um, you can use a black or a really dark brown. So I'm just gonna go in and just blend, really making that hairline lovely and thick. So this is the finished look of the half up, half down boho braided hairdo.